In this exercise, we want to find the five number summary of the given data. Now we already have the data copied and pasted into Excel here. So let's find the five number summary. So just a reminder of the five number summary, we have the min, we have the Q1, we have the median, Q3, and then we have the max. Now, a lot of these are very uh, self-explanatory in Excel. If you just guess what the function is, it will most likely be correct. So in Excel to find the minimum value of the data set, we can just type equals because we're using a equation or a function and we just start typing min and that's all it is. We just type min and open up a parenthesis and we type the range a1 colon to b6. Hit enter. We see the minimum is 2. Now for Q1, there are multiple ways to do this, and some versions of Excel will accept some ways over another. So one way to do that is we can just start typing quartile. Now we see there are multiple quartile options. So the first option here is just the quartile option without that extra ending on it. And all we have to do is just type quartile, open parenthesis, type the range of the cells or the array Excel likes to call it. So this is from A1 to B6. And then we do a comma, it asks for another input or argument. And we see the different options. It's just asking for what quartile are we looking for the first one or the third one. In this case, we're looking for quartile one. So we type one there, hit enter. And then that finds quartile one for us. Another option to do if that quartile option is not available if we start typing quartile after the equal sign we would want to use the quartile inc so we do inc open it up and then we type the array which is a1 to b6 and then another comma and we type which quartile we're looking for we're looking for quartile one we hit enter and we get the same thing if you look and if you try using quartile.exc, then it sometimes may result in a incorrect quartile or a quartile that's different from the ones that we just found. So we see here when we type that as the quartile, all the same inputs or arguments, you know, A1 to B6, court looking for quartile one, we have a very different answer here. So we want to use either the quartile function or the quartile.inc. Now for the other ones for the median, you can just type equals. This is one of those ones where you can probably just guess what it is. You just type the median and Excel will figure it out for you. So we're using that same range a1 to b6. Hit enter. That one's good. The median is 31. And then for q3 or quartile 3, it's the same thing as quartile one, you can do quartile, and then type in the array, which is a one to b six. And we're looking for quartile three here. So we type three after the comma hit enter. So that is quartile three, we can also do the other version of it, the quartile.inc parenthesis type the range a one to b six comma, we're looking for quartile three. So we type three, close the parenthesis, hit enter, and we get the same thing. It just depends sometimes on which version of Excel you are using. Now for the max, this is also like the minimum or like the median, this is probably one that you can just guess if you type equals, and then just start typing max. That's all it is, you're just looking for the maximum value. So open your parenthesis, type the range, or you can just highlight the range. After you type the parenthesis, and then hit enter and we get the maximum value in this data set is 87.